Kyle Smith stands in, and our marker seven first pitch is a fastball that sails high at 12.02. Two odds of that. Here's a 1 0. Kyle just this one sharply into right. That's going to be a base hit off the glove of a diving sherry. The 0 2 from Kroner, bouncing ball up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. So Tate with a single in, the Bulldogs in business. Here comes Craig, the pitch, bunted up the line at third. This is a dandy. It'll move the runners along. It'll be close at first, safe. Shepard's throw, not in time. All right. Croner's pitch hit high out into center field. This should be deep enough. Bile Smith will make the catch. Collins coming home. He'll score without a throw, and it's 1-0 dogs. Congratulations. Josh McAllister with his first Bulldog RBI. Here's a 3-1. Jernigan shoots it out into right field. Eiler's not going to get there. It's a base hit. Around third comes Tate. No throw home. 2-0 Georgia on a big base hit from running Randon Jernigan. Marshall takes third on the play. And that'll bring up Buddy Floyd. Fourth hit of the inning for the Bulldogs, all singles. Plus you have the sack fly by McAllister, so every at bat here has been a positive at bat. The pitch, Floyd squares, bunts it up the line at first. It's a safety squeeze, it's gonna work. Close at first, safe, the ball gets out into right field. It's three nothing George and their runners on the corners with only one out. Beautiful, great job by Floyd on the Safety squeeze. Belt, the 0-2 to Tate. Ground ball left side with eyes diving. Stop at third by Shepard. Throw to first, gonna be close, he's safe. Jernigan scores on the play and it's four nothing Georgia. Great hustle that time by Tate. That turns it into an RBI. Great play by Shepard. But Tate getting down the line, so Georgia with one. Here's the pitch. King hits this one to short. Go the long route, wide throw, out. Great tag by Craig as Witter's throw goes up the line. And Riley King is saying, what in the world do I have to do to get on base? On left, here's a 3-0. Green light special, but gets a little chin music for ball four. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply in the left, base hit. So the dogs in business as Collins stops at second. Georgia with runners at first and second and nobody out. Squaring first and second, nobody out. Bunts it right in front of the plate. Only play will be to first and Craig fumbles it. That's probably gonna be a sack E3. That's a sack E3. So Shane Marshall's laid down two great bunts. Here's a one, two. Hit high out in the right with a little carry. Eilers going back. He is at the track and makes the catch. This is going to be another sack fly. It's 5 nothing Georgia. Everybody advancing. Holy moly, Tate's going to try and score, and he is out. Trying to catch Evansville napping. So that will go down as a sack fly to right for McAllister. Nice work for his second RBI. And Tate out on the play. That'll go 9-4-2. So Marshall at second, and here's Randon Jernigan. That's three runners lost on the bases now for Georgia through two games. And here's the 0-2. Called strike three on the inside corner. Good pitch there by Croner. That is his third K. Georgia. To nobody on as this one is lifted out to right. Eiler going to his left will drop it out in right field. <laughs> and that'll allow Tate to go to second base. And nothing in two to King as that one came in and caught his foot, I think. Did that hit him? Yes, it did. Breaking ball. Well, that's just one of those two. I don't know. Kroner's well, kicking himself. Just one of those. Going that way. Here's the 3 1. Misses away ball four. The bases are loaded. Here's the pitch. This one is hit up the middle and through for a base hit. Coming in to score is Cole Tate. Behind him is King. It's a two-run single for Connor Tate. 
And the Dogs have extended the lead to 7 nothing. You can really feel that with coming. Uh, Evansville just playing with fire with all the miscues. And a great job by Georgia making the Purple Aces pay. And returning the favor a little bit with these runs coming with two outs and nobody on. And this is one of those games that Croner's a veteran. He's probably the pitch. Breaking ball. Called strike three, and that'll do it for the dog. W. Here's a 2-2. Ground ball towards short. Backhanded. Cole Tate. It goes off the tip of his glove in the left for a base hit. Letting us know Kentucky's leading Tennessee. This is it deep out in the left. This is trouble. Jernigan's going back. He's leaping. This ball is out of here. That is a two-run homer for Brett Witter, and the Purple Aces are on the board. And that is just their third hit of the afternoon. And that is Witter's first career home run, and that cuts Georgia's lead to 7-2. to two. So the lead now five runs. And that'll bring in Kamanoski, the catcher. Actually got a pinch yeah, hitter, we do. Robbie Wilkes. 3-2 uh, to Brinkley. Ball four, he missed outside. On right. And he hit him in the back. George's got to get some activity going now. This thing's starting to get a little bit hairy. Two. Ball four, missed inside, and the bases are loaded. Oh, here's a payoff. Ball four outside. It's seven to three, and the tying run is coming to the plate. Well, here's a pitch off the fist. Little bloop. McAllister makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Vegetable today. Woods. End of the motion is two two. Hit high and deep into right. This ball's got a chance. It is gone. And Borgstrom takes advantage of that short porch, giving the Purple Aces a 1-0 lead here in the second. So what is that? That is just the third home run of the weekend in the three games. Two of the last three innings for Evansville. The, that's, that's, right. Yeah. that's right. So Collins for much of a factor. This pitch nicks him. Connor Tate is aboard, hit by pitch, and that one didn't even hurt. There goes Tate. There's a ground ball, base hit in the right, hit and run, work to perfection, and the Dogs have runners on the corners. There in action. Here's a pitch, hit high out into center field. This will be deep enough. Cruz will camp under and make the catch. Tate will cruise home, and the Dogs have tied the game. That's what, the third sack fly in the middle of next week. And the first pitch is lined down the left field line. This will be extra bases for Connor Tate. He is on his way to second. Brinkley in the corner as he gets it in quickly. And Connor Tate has a leadoff double here to start the fourth. And, here. and the pitch. This one's hit on the ground on the left side and through for a base hit. Under the glove of the diving third baseman, Shepard. Tate comes in to score. The Dogs have a two-to-one lead. Great job, Gonzalez, who is two for two, and he's now gotten a hit in his last three plate appearances. And I think the right strategy there by Evansville, especially in the short seven-inning game. Here's the 2-0. This one is lifted out to left. Riley going back to the wall, and that ball is out of here. Kenton Cruz. Just hit a 2-0 pitch out of here to tie this game at two. And Evansville today has hit three home runs. And Witter's two-run shot in the seventh of the first game today. And the second one here, the nightcap, Borgstrom had a solo shot to start the second. So there, now the 0-1, this one is lined out to left for a base hit. So Brinkley has reach base twice here this afternoon in this game. Now the one-two. This one is lined out into right center field for a base hit. Malley will hold at second. So now they have one of those things they're playing with a little chip as this one is looped out into shallow left center field. That'll drop for a base hit. Run will score. Play at third is not in time. 
And going to second on the throw is Shepard. So Evansville now leads three to two, and they've got runners at second and third. So Shepard. Comfortable. This one is lined out to center. Anderson coming on. He can't make the play. It'll drop in front of him. Two runs will score, and Evansville now has the 5-2 lead. That is, and two balls that are hit just a little bit harder would be caught by Anderson. And that is four straight that have reached. They're starting with. Here's the pitch from Chris. This one's a chopper to third. Blaylock on the second hop, fields it, throws on to first. Good play there to retire the side. Now the pitch to King. Did that nick him? Yes, it did. Got him on the hand. So a hit batter here to start the inning. As this one is hit out in the right, a base hit for Gonzalez. He is three for three, and that'll get the tying run to the plate here in Cheney Rogers. Great job. Oh, it's one and two, now the pitch. This one is lifted out to deep center field, going back and to the wall, and that ball is out of here! Cheney Rogers ties it with a three-run homer the second of his career. How about that? <laughs> you talk that. about clutch. Down five to two, a one-two count, two outs. And he smokes it to the deepest part of the park. And you'd never know this stadium wasn't full between everybody inside Foley Field, DJ, and all the crowd out at Kudzu Hill. Here's his one, two, bouncing ball towards third. Nice play on to first in time. McAllister, five to three. Yep. One, two, Anderson shoots this one into right field. Bile Smith on the run. He dives and can't make the catch. <laughs> Anderson is going to be safe at second with a leadoff double. And Ben matters the one, two. Ground ball up the middle. That'll be gloved by Witter, the shortstop. No play, though. Infield hit. So runners are on the corners as Anderson advances to third base. Seven. Crescent's 1-0. Line around into right, down the line. It's a base hit, and the dogs win it. Anderson coming home, and Georgia comes from behind to beat Evansville 6-5 and sweep this doubleheader. And great to see Anderson get his first hit of the season and Riley King get his first hit of the season. Well, those two guys are excellent ball players. They are clutch players, and they pick the perfect time to get those first hits of the 2021 campaign.